I was like, why is it so cold up in here? Like it's snowing or something. Have the pinchy AC on. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to go Black Friday shopping. I'm going to bring you along with me. I said I wasn't going to do it this year, but here we go. So, let's see what we find. So, first, we got to start off with coffee. I ended up coming to another town, so I am going to try. So, good thing to know that if I shared, it was my first time. Right? And I didn't know, but if it's your first time, they give you a stamp with nine, so you just have to buy one more, and you get one free. Isn't that so cool? So generous. I thought that. She gave the directions to yeah. pumpkin. So we try are trying um, Dutch Bros for the first time today. Um, I had to. Had to start my day with coffee. So what I ended up getting was the Golden Eagle and I had it modified to where it was lower sugar. Um, kind of like uh, they said a quote unquote keto version whatever that means but they said low the sugar was modified so I am super excited I kind of didn't taste wait for my first taste for you guys I kind of was un poco hambriada but I love how extra this place is I ended up getting an order made so cute I think they're doing it for Black Friday obviously so we're just going to open it up and see what it looks like. They're so extra. So cute though, right? Aw! It's a little coffee cup. So cute. I'm going to put it on my, my little desk tree. So cute. I don't know about you ladies, but I'm feeling myself with these lashes. Girl, yes. Guess where I peep them out? Watch my video. You already know they're from the Dollar Tree, girl. Don't sleep on it. 99 cent store. Go get you a pair. They look good. I probably could put hella more mascara and make them look bud, but make them look bud. Make them look bud. Mm -hmm, hell. But uh, hmm. who else you know can make a bug look bomb? outside of home goods we're gonna see what we find the shit I gotta do to prepare myself before I go shopping I can't see sometimes a lot of this stuff like I want to be see every single detail and so I need my glasses my glasses are broken we're gonna improvise up in this is that ghetto I don't know oh my hair is a hot mess really gonna be like I'll pray the audio let's go inside so let's see if I actually find a cart I'm taking this one. Oh, hello there, Santa. So if you guys know, you guys know that this is one of my favorite stores. I love Home Goods. It's all the vibes, all the feels every year. So uh, they separate things by theme. So decor, obviously, it's here. And then we'll go through and see what we find. I'm so excited. You guys know I've been loving the Buffalo check lately. These little gnome guys are in. I don't know why though. Let's see how much he is. I may or may not. He's $9.99. No, I can think I'll find something cute with him at $9.99. I love stuff like this. See, I won't pay 15 bucks for that. Is that cheap? I don't know. Something is real and some things I won't. Happy Hanukkah. I wish I didn't go all kukuluku and come here first. I love this like mint green. Super cute. This reminds me like, this is a really cute color scheme as well. Um, really classy looking, but I love this. With the buffalo jack, I think that would be super perfect. 
Ay, Ay carito. See, <laughs> I can go shit $75 on sunglasses, but give me, buy something like that for $7 I get all cheap. That is the weirdest thing. Those things are ugly. I love that sign right there. I feel like I could make that. This is cute too. It's different. Eight bucks. Oh, I thought it was a decor piece. It's just the bow. Okay. Stocking. Oh, there's that buffalo chuck again. I don't like that though. Is that cute? I kind of like that. Oh, those are cute. Oh, I think I like that one. one's okay. Letter to Santa. I wish I had children already. I'd be that mom. I come across this buffalo check bow. I made one similar. They want to charge you eight dollars. But you can make this yourself, guys. It's no secret that I come here to get inspiration for stuff. I was loving this, something similar, and I was just curious, just to see how much they are. They're um, they're thirty. Ray Dawn is so cute. It's thirty dollars though for this set. I don't know. So I know they have variations of the coffees. Um, so I usually always, time that I'm here, I pick some up, um, either here, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, same thing. And I most recently was recommended to drink the Kona coffees. Um, I am the classic one at home right now. I'm actually drinking. It's really good. This is a bigger bag. Oh, these are the beads. They're not, they're not grounded. Who? Oh. Well, this one is. Anyways. Kona. Been loving this coffee lately. So I accidentally almost picked up this one and this one was not the sugar free. Look at the stats. There's a differentiation. There's a lot of carbs and a lot of sugar in this one and this one there isn't. Hence the sugar free. But um, yeah, just a subtle change and you could be saving yourself some grief from sugar. So this is where I get my seasonings, guys. Um, my staples. So I'm going to pick up some avocado oil. I kind of took a detour from the decor. I need a break. I need to think about um, what what, what I'm going to decorate and what, where I want to go with it. So I just kind of paused and came over here. Um, this was my holy grail. I ran out. So we're going to get one of those really good don't sleep on it it was bomb I used it on everything um, and they have pink Himalayan salt with them I thought that was cool this one's like a Mediterranean spice blend that one might be good garlic and onion I feel like it's very standard gotta look at the stats really good garlic and onion I feel like I would use that a lot Oh, Herba Provence. I never knew what this was. And then uh, we went to the Spice Tin um, on Murphy's. In Murphy's. On Murphy's. Oh, on Murphy's. Um, and I noticed my mom picked this one up and I was like, what is this used for? For turkeys. For meat. Real cool. Oh, she'd probably like that. Stocking stuffer? Eh, maybe. So I came across this. It's 100% coconut oil you cook with it. Um, these can also be used as beauty hacks. Really perfect for stockings. Um, so it's food, but it's not food, if that makes sense. $6, three people for a stocking. So I'm going to do that. Um, I noticed that they had this. I've been looking for it. I need some. Um, it's a sugar substitute. So I'm going to get one of these as well. Sorry, it's just the aisle that I'm in. We'll get back to the decor. Bear with me. Um, chia seeds, I always thought, you know, it's good to use them to get the fiber in. I don't make enough smoothies to use them, but, uh, I'm looking for a chai tea. You guys know I've asked you about the teas and stuff. I'm not sure if they have any, 
but uh, we're gonna see. Something else that I do for the stockings is I'll look for items that are in package and then see how many comes in there. This is only four bucks and it comes two, four, six, seven snacks. One for me and I can put some in stockings and that is another stocking stuffer for the price of one. So right now they put everything that was fall, everything that is, was in, um, they put it on clearance. So clearance is actually one of the best places to find stocking stuffers or things to just throw and add to people's gifts. Like my mom's in the Ray Dunn. This is a cute little Ray Dunn clock for $7. So... Um, I know she likes the decor, so I'm going to get that because I know she's going to like that. Um, no shame in my game. I ain't being cheap. I am being efficient. So, um, also some things they have is like last year's Christmas out. Um, things that just didn't sell. So, you can essentially find a lot. I know these rocks are in. I bought a candle from... Um, not a candle, it was a lamp from Kohl's and it was six dollars. Um, so you never know, you always want to stop here first. So I came to Bodine only because it is the closest one to us, is like San Francisco, and I just I wanted to eat some bougie, so I came by myself. It's like this little cafe thing. Um, not a full-blown um, place but it's not really busy either so um, I just ended up getting a half and half a half of a spring salad um, and then they have like this uh, turkey cranberry sandwich and I ended up just getting a little bit of that but I had them remove the bread and just leave the inside so that is what I had the cranberry and the turkey. I guess I gotta have this at home, but honestly guys, I was in my feelings and um, you guys already know. I wanted to spend time with myself. I'm learning to do that. I learn the most when I do that with myself. Um, and I just want to give that disclaimer that if your environment is going to appreciate you, make you feel some kind of way, like you're unwanted, then be with yourself because at the end of the day, you only have you. So, I'm not going to get all luxury. Y'all can go to Snapchat and Instagram stories for that. So, we're going to go ahead and eat and um we will mosey on our day so my plan is to go to home goods then um the ross in this area is really really um last time i came they had a lot of good stuff we'll see i kind of want to avoid a ross um home goods for sure possibly I don't know. I'm going to avoid the mall, but I'm going to go to the surrounding stores. So, we'll see. I don't want to promise anything, because then if I don't go, I'm going to go back. So. But first, Smile. So, you guys know I went to Boudin for um, my lunch. Um, while I was killing time, I decided to sign up for the rewards program. So, if you don't know about it, you sign up for them. You accrue points every time you eat there. And then they have a free loaf of bread per month. I know, really, I'm, I'm getting this for the family. I mean, free is free, right? So, um, yeah, if you didn't know, now you know. Every month, you need one basic minimum purchase a month. So, she said you can do like a 79 cent roll and you still get your full sourdough for free. Free is free. So, if you're interested in that, stay tuned, not sponsored. As I mentioned, she is into Ray Dunn. I found another Ray Dunn item here on clearance. Eleven daughter, daughter, eleven daughters. No, eleven dollars for this um, ceramic, I think, drainer. So I know she would use that. She would like this because she collects the Ray Dunn stuff. I noticed they had things like this gobbled turkey and homemade um that was ten dollars i think i can find something cuter for that price 
But I think this is cute. She would put this in her collection. So, I don't think things happen for an accident. I think they happen purposefully. And these two ladies spoke life into me like no other. Um, what they said to me was super beautiful and encouraging and uplifting and I was just being myself dancing and vlogging for you guys because that's what I was gonna do today and that was ordained I truly believe that that was supposed to happen I was supposed to hear those beautiful words of encouragement she told me that people have we give permission for people to have the paintbrush and paint on our canvas which is our heart and our life and we need to start taking those paintbrushes back if people do not uplift you and encourage you and support you and love you you need to take back that paintbrush and not give them that permission so wow that just spoke so hard to my heart um you know and so anyways be encouraged I'm gonna finish my shopping. Let's do this. I'm trying to get emotional.